All right, my diet is still dreadfully lacking fruodstuffs. Um, no lemon yet because while there was an opportunity to go to the store the other day, I'm lazy. So I made my poor mother shop all alone and she hates me now and that's as it should be. Uh, so I have accrued a lovely breakfast of iced tea and cereal and uh, it's got egg in it. Mm. Mm. Bacon and spinach. Mm. I think a yellow fruit is needed, even if we didn't buy bananas. No, wait, we did buy bananas. It's the lemon that's not here. I could do multiple takes and not mess up saying bananas at the wrong time, but that's not the kind of thing that this is that's happening here, so. I need, I think, to pay homage to the Griffin McElroy, and God, I am going to regret it. But. Maybe I won't. Maybe it's actually very tasty. I'm gonna Google if this is edible, just in case. Alright, I'm paraphrasing here, but the internet says go for it, so... Mmm. You know, it's not great, but... Compared to the orange, it's almost pleasant. Mm. God, I should have prepared something more to say. I thought I'd just be gagging nonstop like last time, but... Manageable. I'm really looking forward to the rest of breakfast, though, because... It's not terrible, but it's not great. I should really eat the whole thing. Is one bite enough? I mean, honestly, I'm very picky with bananas. I prefer them firm, but not too firm. And I can't tell. I mean, just looking at the gooey paste left over from the bite mark, it almost looks like it's too mushy. So maybe the peel is actually making it a more pleasant experience for me. Bite number two will probably tell. Ah, uh, mm. After the initial bite, it's sort of not... It doesn't want to break as easily. Or it does, but it's not pleasant about it. Just fighting that gag reflex, folks. Should have taken a smaller bite. So for some reason, my phone thinks that if I get a call, I want to see that call and stop filming whatever I'm filming. This is inaccurate. I've never cared less about a call. Except it was from my dear father, who I love, so I'm kind of regretting that I didn't just pause, but I gotta keep this momentum going. Or I will stop eating this banana. Ugh. Looks like tar. The less you look at it, the more appetizing it becomes. And again, I don't want to advocate eating something totally nasty. This peel is actually appealing. No, but it's not as disgusting as an orange peel, that's for sure. It's almost, there's not even, I was expecting bitter, but it's kind of just tasteless. Or maybe it pairs nicely with the sort of sweet of the banana, whereas the orange peel, I don't know, maybe bitter doesn't go great with citrus. Is an orange sweet? I didn't really get sweet from it. 
Again, this is a person who believed until after failing the test that bitter described what peanut butter was because I had never eaten a bitter thing, to my knowledge. Anyway, my phone is just doing everything it can to impede the filming process. First with a phone call, and now there's a terrible memory issue. But I've deleted all my recently deleted photos, so we got a gigabyte or two to work with. This better be less than that. Ah, I'm actually going to have to edit these together. This is going to take longer than it should. I hope I can. Yeah, I can. It'll work. The banana's almost done. At this point, I feel like it's not even worth filming because I can totally eat this with no problem. I'm really glad I had a terrible thing. So that this only slightly unpleasant thing could become enjoyable. At this point I'm basically just a weirdo filming myself eating breakfast and frankly that's a bit uncomfortable. I'm not eating the stem. Yeah, I'm not eating it. I thought about it for a second, but it's too hard, too crunchy. Well, yeah, it's resilient. All right, I think this show's pretty much over. Pretty much. Again, flavor is not a problem. The issue here is purely size. Look at that. What even are banana seeds? Why are they so small? They make such a big old tree. It doesn't make sense. Hmm. Second thought. It's a size and speed issue. Because trying to swallow too soon is also getting the gag. I make such unpleasant faces too, I'm sorry. Although that's probably what you're watching for, really. I had to fake some measure of suffering. So this isn't all for naught. All in all, I'd say this experience has in no way helped me prepare for the lemon, but it was a pleasant sort of surprise almost. And now I've probably got some sort of extra nutrients. God, I'm really regretting not washing this though. I could have like a million grocery store hands. Mm. Let's rinse off the last bit of it just for the heck of it. Of course, now it might have a slightly different flavor to it. Water flavor, which as we all know is an extremely potent potable. Well, that one should just peel. Mmm. You know what? You know how the I said the orange was better as the peel without the fruit? The banana fruit itself definitely saves the peel. It is actually kind of bitter. Mm. Still not as bad as the orange, but if you're going to eat a banana peel, definitely eat the fruit with it. That's my recommendation. Mmm. Yep. Yeah. At this point, I feel like I've suffered enough for my own satisfaction. So, I'm just going to peel the rest of the peel. Eat the last of the banana. Toss this bit out. Maybe it's not what the internet wants. Maybe it's not what America wants. More specifically, you, my friends, watching this, the only people who should be watching this if you're not white, who do something productive. But 
this is what I want. So that's what I get. Hmm. All in all, not bad.